live gameplay, we're actually going to show you a brief video which highlights a lot of the tech that you're going to see in our new engine. And before we start that, a gentle reminder, no video, no recording of any sort during the demo. All right, we're going to roll the video. That's the only thing you're going to see today that's canned. Let's do it. All of the tech and visuals you're about to see are running real time in one of the levels of Call of Duty Ghost. Our new engine creates a huge leap in visual fidelity and graphical immersion for Call of Duty. To highlight this leap forward, let's take a look at a couple of these new features in game. Let's start with a look at one of our new advanced tessellation features called Displacement Mapping. This feature allows our engine to create high res geometry in real time on train surfaces that were in the past very flat. To better illustrate this, we are going to bring up some of the in-game development tools to show you what this new feature is actually doing. So with displacement maps off, you can see that the rocks on the riverbed are basically flat. However, as we slowly turn on displacement maps, you can see real geometry. The rocks, the nooks, the crags actually grow. This is a significant increase in geometric fidelity that is happening in real time in our new engine. Another great new feature of the engine is called sub -D. This is a technique that takes once blocky geometry and builds them into perfectly smooth curves. It's been used for a while by Hollywood and film, but the breakthrough for us has been utilizing it real time in engine. So as we look down the site with sub -D turned off, you can actually see how the edges are jagged because of the normal polycam. So now with Sub-D turned on, you can see that the normal poly count has been increased exponentially. And what's amazing about Sub-D is that it will continue to subdivide in real time as you get closer to objects. So no matter how close you get, nothing will break down. Now as you look at your player's hand and weapon with all the tech running, you can see how high resolution textures, Sub-D, the lighting, and other techniques allow us to show the most minute of details, like cuts, scrapes, and other natural imperfections. Also notice how the scope is now perfectly round. We've also implemented other features that further increase the natural look of the game. One example of this is how light affects the player's vision. As in the real world, when you look at something dark and then turn to something bright, your eyes will adjust to compensate. Displacement mapping and real-time sub-D, along with other new technologies such as HDR volumetric lighting and real-time ADSR, set a new benchmark for immersion for Call of Duty. All right, it's time for some live gameplay. In back, we have Shannon. She's going to be playing for us today. The first level we're going to demo today is called No Man's Land. Now this segment begins as you and your older brother and your service dog Riley return to your childhood home in San Diego, which has been completely decimated. And you're there on a recon mission. Now this level demonstrates a lot of the capabilities that Riley brings to the team. So based on Navy SEAL service dogs, he's outfitted with a high-tech battle vest which includes a camera, a specialized earpiece for issuing audible commands, and also a collar with vibrating motors so handlers can issue directional commands silently via a tablet. So he's not just a companion, he's an integral part of the team. All right, here we go. Is it on? Okay, looks like we're good. Beginning sector scan. Contact. Enemy patrol approaching from the west. Do not engage. Let him get closer.
sections of underwater gameplay before in Call of Duty, but never an entire level with full combat like you're going to see today. You also have the ability to use a real-world underwater weapon, which is known as the APS. All right. You all set, Shannon? Yeah. Here goes.
blast in your area. That amount of water pressure could have lethal effects. This way. things up. As you saw in the demo, Call of Duty Ghosts features a new story, new characters, new experiences, all on our new next-gen engine, 60 frames per second, all platforms. Before you take off from the Activision area today, be sure to check out the show mode next door. We got some new content there as well, so you don't want to